And the weapons. The tools Mr. Clay used to terrorize the citizens of New Bordeaux. I suppose you furnished him with those as well. Actually, no. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, Senator. I would have given him any gun, knife, or bomb he asked for. What can I do for you, Lincoln Clay? But like I've said, Lincoln never had trouble finding a weapon. And just how does he accomplish that? Help me kill Sal Marcano. For most of that summer, one of his underbosses, Cassandra, she ran the Haitian gang, looped him into a sweet little arm smuggling ring she had going. That kept him squared away. There are stashes of guns hidden in this city. Full service operation. They aim to please. Pistols, rifles, shotguns, ammo, you name it. It was all black market gear, of course. I mean, this was a real arsenal. If the VC had been this well provisioned at the drain, the whole damn war might have turned out different. Extended clips, perfectly tuned sight, hollow points, silencers. By the time Lincoln finished tinkering with a firearm, it was a precision instrument of death. Nothing like this had ever happened before. Lincoln wanted to terrify the mob. He wanted them to know he was going to kill every last one of them. Then, oh, Jesus, then when Burke came on board, things really kicked up another level. Explosives. Everything from Molotov cocktails to C4. You know, the stuff they use for controlled demolition. Except in our case, not, uh, not always so controlled. There was a loud crash, like a bomb going off. War on the streets as a gunman stormed the Royal Hotel, killing an untold number of men. You know what the funny part is? The funny part is, Lincoln didn't really need half the shit to take down Marcano. And the uh, systematic killing of Marcano's capos and lieutenants? Well, we weren't playing fucking patty cake. Christ. Fighting to him was like breathing. I've seen him bring a whole VC unit to its knees using nothing but his knife. I've seen him take apart an armored encampment from the canopy with a single scoped combat rifle. Put a rocket launcher in the hands of a man like that, and those poor bastards never stood a chance. Even back in Laos when we were running guns. Hell, almost from the moment he stepped off the chopper, I remember thinking to myself, this man has a talent for violence. Ah!